It's that time again, the time you've all been waiting for. It's time to teach me to swear. And today we have Nicolas D teaching me to swear in French Canadian. Welcome to Teach Me to Swear. I've got my poutine ready, and uh, and all I have to do is wait for uh, Nick ISD to arrive and teach me how to swear. Oh, here he is right now. Dear Mr. Talented, or I should say, excuse me, dear Mr. Dangerously Talented, I'm quite qualified to speak about swearing because I studied linguistics back in my university days. In French Canada, we use what I call double slammers. What we do is we insult our interlocutor and God at the same time. Here are the more important words you must learn before coming to Canada. First one, a like almost like just spitting there. A sti. Try it again. A That's the piece of bread that uh, they give people uh, a communion in church. A And then there's Chris. Chris. Now you have to sound like you're about to bite the person who's in front of you. Chris. 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 And then there's, oh, and, you know, obviously, Chris. Chris. It's the same as Christ in English. Now, the third word I want you to learn is tabarnak. Tabarnak. That means tabernacle. That's a Roman Catholic thing, so you don't have to worry too much about what it is. Just say, Tabarnak. 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 And finally, Vierge. 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 That means virgin, as in the Virgin Mary. Now that you've got those four words, then we can move forward. Aren't I funny? No. Anyway, that's for tomorrow's episode of Teach Me to Swear in Quibbit Swa. Quibbit Qua. Quib. Gibbet Swa. He didn't tell me how to pronounce it. He only told me to swear. And now it's time for part two of Teach Me to Swear in French Canadian. This time, Nicolas D teaches me advanced swearing. Well, now it's part two of uh, Teach Me to Swear in Quebecois. I am going to have to step this routine up a notch. Here is some bacon. Well, it's not bacon, it's, it's um, honey baked ham. But, you know, I don't have any bacon on me. Just have to have some ham in my bag, so there we go. That steps up the patina notch. Now, back to Nick ISD. Now that you have to use a compound form of swearing. This adds impact and blasphemic value all at the same time. For example, you go, Ooh, a wow. si, the Chris, the Tabarnak de Vierge. Mm. Try it. A sti de Chris de Tabarnak de Vierge. It's extremely important to sound disgusted when you use the compound form of swearing. So you go, A sti Chris de Tabarnak de Vierge. A sti de Chris de Tabarnak de Vierge. Try again. A sti Chris de Tabarnak de Vierge. Yeah, you must sound like you know you've 
never seen anything as bad or never heard anything as bad in your life. Now, those four words can be used as nouns. So, if we're talking about somebody you can't stand, you say, c'est un Chris. Say, un Chris. C'est un Chris. Or, say, un tabarnak. Un tabarnak. Say, un tabarnak. Un tabarnak. But, there's always a but because there are so many rules in the French language. But, in French, we've got masculine and feminine sounds. So, you have to be careful. You know, the Virgin Mary was a woman, not a man. And the Christ was a man, not a woman. So, you cannot call a man a vierge. Doesn't make sense. You know, you have to call a woman a vierge. And then a man, you call a Chris. So, a Chris, une vierge. A Chris, a Chris, une vierge. Une vierge. A Chris, a Chris, une vierge. Une vierge. Very good. Now, after talking about nouns, we're going to discuss adjectives. The same words can be used as adjectives and they add a lot of power to your swearing. For example, talking about that same guy you can't stand, you can say, C'est un Chris de tabarnak. Un Chris de tabarnak. C'est un Chris de tabarnak. Un Chris de tabarnak. Here, Chris is the adjective. And tabarnak is the noun. Un Chris, a fucking, the tabarnak, asshole. More or less, that's what it means. Un Chris, the tabarnak. Now, those same words, again, it gets quite complicated, you know? Those same words can be used as verbs. For example, in the sentence, Je vais lui en crisser une hostie claque. Try it after me. Je vais lui en crisser une hostie de claque. Je vais lui en crisser une hostie claque. Je vais lui en crisser une hostie de claque. Je vais lui en crisser un Etsy clac. Here, crisser is a verb in the infinitive form. And then Etsy is an adjective. The English equivalent of je vais lui en crisser une Etsy clac is I'm going to slap him across the fucking face. But you see, in English, you're missing something to it because you only have, you know, one swear word in all this, and not only that, but slap, you know, sounds kind of weak. But if you say je vais lui en crisser une claque, now you've got something. You've got something powerful. You've got something that's going to blow everybody else's mind. So. Try this one, one last time. Je vais lui en crisser une hostie claque. Je vais lui en crisser une hostie claque. Une hostie de claque. And that's it for this lesson in Teach Me to Swear in Quebecois. Que Quebecois. Quebecois. Whatever. Next, uh, next time, we learn the word... Merde
And it's time once again to teach me the swearing French Canadian. Part three, Nicole ST teaches me to say ma. In the last episode of Teach Me to Swear in Quibbets Qua, Qu 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 Anyway, in that last episode, we learned how to, to use adjectives and nouns and in order to swear in Quibbets Qua, Qu Qu In order to swear. Now we're going to step it out a notch further. So I've got my uh, uh, poutine and I've got my bacon and I'm going to add a little bit of syrup in there. Here we go. Now, on with the lesson! And I'd like to finish with a very sticky topic. It's mild. Mild. Try it again. Mild. Mild, mild is the French equivalent, uh, uh, the French Canadian, excuse me, equivalent of mild. But it should sound sticky and smelly almost when you say it. Mild. Mild. You know, doesn't that make mild sound weaker and more sanitized? You know, mild. 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 Wait, more effective. Now, furthermore, we really like defecation when it comes to Canada, and so we tell people, Va don chier. Va don chier. Which means go take a crap. Va don chier. Va don chier. Va don chier. Va don chier. And we can push the insult even further by telling him to eat that crap. Mange de la merde. 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 And if you really can't stand that guy, and you really want to get his attention, then you say, Mange de l'ostite crise de merde. Mange de l'ostite crise de merde. Mange de l'hostie de Chris de Marde. Mange de l'hostie de Chris de Marde. Yeah, eat a fucking pile of stinking shit. Now, I hope that you found this short class interesting and you've learned something, you know, new today. Something useful. And now, class dismissed. <laughs>